Welcome to our series on the 10 most popular chapters in the Bible, my friend. Today, we will uncover the mysteries of Genesis and delve into the profound ways God continues to create in our lives today. As beings created in God's image, we carry a spark of the divine artist. God's creative energy courses through our veins, stirring our imagination and kindling the passion within our hearts. Today, God continues to ignite our creative instincts, empowering individuals to discover and express their talents in ways previously unimaginable. We create just like God. The first chapter of Genesis introduces us to a universe bustling with life and interconnected elements. Today, we can observe the work of God in shaping our environment with accuracy. The gentle rustle of the wind through the trees and the majestic presence of towering mountains leaves us in awe, reminding us of the Creator's beauty. Every blooming flower, every creature seeking shelter, and every powerful storm brewing are all evidence of God's influence. While Genesis spotlights the physical creation of the world, the Divine Creator extends creative endeavors into the realm of spirituality. In each human heart, an ongoing metamorphosis occurs as God's love and grace breathe new life. The transformative power of faith in God's presence offers us the chance to become masterpieces in the artistry of the divine. In this sacred dance of redemption, our lives become living testimonies to God's renewing and transforming work. We are never complete, God continues to add to the masterpiece. God is in creation, exploring the awesome power of the divine. When God began creating the heavens and the earth, the earth was a shapeless, chaotic mass, with the Spirit of God moved over the dark vapors. Genesis 1 verses 1 to 2. Never underestimate the power of the spoken word, my child. I spoke everything into existence. I merely uttered, let there be light, and the heavens glowed. I spoke the word of the sun, and it was formed. I dotted the sky with the glistening and glimmer of the stars. You have a similar creative power, my child. You place your creative power through me, and the impossible can happen. Inspiration means, in spirit. I am the life breath of your thoughts, creative imagination, and your faith in action. Never limit yourself to what you think is possible when the unachievable is within your reach. You were created in my glorious image. No, you look nothing like me, but you are my identical twin when you do the things I do. Create by thinking, speaking, and doing things into existence. Let what you do be an extension of me, and you will set the world on end with what you can birth. You are only starting, my child, let this be your beginning. In this age, it's important to remember the beauty and wonder in the world. From the sights of nature to the potential of humanity, we can see God's handiwork all around us. Let us keep our hearts open to the inspiration and guidance from God's holy touch. May I please share a prayer, my friend? Gracious God, we humbly bow before you, overwhelmed by your wondrous creation surrounding us. In the depths of our souls, we acknowledge the magnitude of your creative power and give thanks for everything you have brought into existence. Almighty Creator, we offer you our deepest gratitude for crafting us, your beloved children. We thank you for bestowing us the gift of life, intricately forming our bodies, and breathing your divine essence into our souls. You have fashioned us in your image, endowing us with the ability to think, love, and create. We are humbled by the divine spark that dwells within us, reminding us of our connection to you. As we stand in awe of your magnificent creation, we pray for the wisdom to cherish and protect it. Teach us to be responsible stewards of this precious planet, nurturing its vast wonders for future generations. In your divine presence, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us as we begin this new series, we cannot cover each of the 10 chapters. We invite you to read each of the chapters on your own. Send us an email if you would like to share your insights, or post your remarks in the comments section. We are always happy to hear from our listeners. We pray that our new series will help you feel like nothing is closer to you than the Spirit of God.